This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome to today's ISS update. It is Thursday, October 18th, 2012. This is a live view inside the space station flight control room here at the Johnson Space Center. The Orbit 2 team is currently on console under the direction of Flight Director Bob Dempsey. This team is working with the Expedition 33 crew on board the International Space Station. They've had a very busy morning and are continuing to uh, have a busy day as they work on a variety of different experiments and also some routine maintenance work. Sunny Williams there on the far left-hand side. She is the commander of Expedition 33. She's been uh, replacing and refilling a recycle tank that is part of the environmental system on board the uh, space station itself. She also reconnected a uh, laptop computer that has been reloaded here recently and getting it plugged back into the station's network. She's also repairing what's called a turbine flow meter that is part of the exercise kinetics experiment. This is part of one of the experiments on board that takes a look at the human body and how it reacts to uh, being up in space. They're also spending the day replacing some uh, cabin filters, just like much what you would do here on Earth, replacing the uh, filters inside your house. They have to do that as well up on board the uh, space station itself, both for their environment and the equipment on board. She's got a training session today for how to uh, respond to a possible ammonia contamination. This is just part of a safety review that she is doing along with Aki Hoshide. These two crew members are getting ready to conduct a spacewalk the early part of next month in November, uh, the uh, first week of November. The exact date will be approved by the space station program, but these two crew members are going to be going outside to address an ammonia link that has been seen out on the uh, port side radiator, the P6 radiator that's out there on the far side of the station's truss structure. But they've been uh, this week going through different procedures and uh, reviewing the uh, items that they're going to have to take care of. They've been getting uh, their tools and their spacesuits ready inside the Quest airlock. And then, of course, once the uh, program itself, the space station program, uh, approves the date for this spacewalk, we'll have the update for you here on NASA television and also NASA.gov. Uh, Aki Hoshide has been uh, working on what's known as the aquatic habitat. This is basically an aquarium that is on board the space station that takes a look at how different uh, fish, specifically uh, the Madaka fish and things like that, uh, small, uh, they look like little guppies, uh, live up in space. We can learn a lot by how uh, small animals and fish uh, live up on board the space station, how their uh, own bodies react to being up there. So he's putting together that particular piece of equipment. Uh, they're fairly hardy fish, which is why they were selected to fly up to the space station. They have flown on the space shuttle uh, before, including back in 1994 aboard uh, Space Shuttle Columbia. But you see that uh, fancy aquatic habitat there that is uh, inside the Japanese laboratory. He's uh, about to kick off cleaning the what's known as the port crew quarters. This is the uh, sleeping quarters for the crew members. It's on the left side of the space station. He's been talking with ground controllers here in Houston about that. And Yuri Malenchenko, who is another flight engineer as part of Expedition 33, has been working a change out of a thermal loop panel back in the Russian segment. He's continuing to do that as we speak. As we talked about yesterday, the space station performed a reboost uh, of its altitude using engines back on the Zvezda service module. That went off as expected. The burn lasted 19 seconds and raised the altitude of the station 0.39 statute miles. That is to set up for the upcoming progress flight that's coming up at the end of the month on October 31st, as well as the launch on October 23rd of the next crew of Expedition 33 and their arrival coming up on October 25th. To remind you of our programming, here's the look at the crew that's coming up. On October 23rd, Oleg Novitsky, Evgeny Terelkin, and Kevin Ford are going to be launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome down in Kazakhstan. That launch time is currently scheduled for 5.51 a.m. Central Time, 6.51 a.m. Eastern Time. They will be docking, as we said, two days later on October 25th. That docking time is scheduled for 7.35 a.m. Central Time, 8.35 a.m. Eastern Time. Of course, we'll have live coverage of all of those events here on NASA Television.